Hey, this is a short video on how to maximize the quality of the output of an XR2206 function generator. These are available on eBay for like 10 bucks, manufactured in China. Looks like this. Um, just to summarize the tips that we're going to be discussing. This is for the sinusoidal output and trying to keep that as clean as possible. Feed the device with clean 9 volt to 12 volt DC power. Use a shielded output cable. Add a filter cap to the output. I found that a one nanofarad ceramic capacitor uh, works really well for both the tens of kilohertz range and also for up to the megahertz range of output. And then keep the peak to peak output voltage below one half of the supply voltage, one half of the supply voltage, perhaps one third of the supply voltage. Um, Okay, we'll, we'll talk about some of that stuff. So what we're looking at here is a, um, a 50 kilohertz output on the spectrum analyzer. I've got another one of the devices sitting here on my Digital and Electronics Explorer board. I'm feeding the output through a shielded cable into scope channel one on the device. And then um, that output is being analyzed at the, in the spectrum analysis tool right now. Um, I'll move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, first thing to do is let me just shut off the power so you can see what the background noise level is of this uh, system. We're down around below uh, minus 80 dB and then turning it back on. So right now the output is um, just straight out of it and straight into the scope. I do not have the um, one nanofarad capacitor in there. So I'll take that one nanofarad ceramic capacitor and I'll just stick it across the output terminals right here. And we're going to take a look at what happens to the noise as I take it out. So that's without the capacitor. And then I'll put it back in. That's with the capacitor. Once again, take it out, put it back in. And now let's look at that signal on the scope. Running that. You can see over here on the right, we've got uh, peak to peak of about 2.8 volts. It's 50 kilohertz. Uh, AC RMS is about 0.95 volts. Um, I'm gonna, increase magnitude here and you can see as we get as we approach four volts uh, the shape begins to clip at the top and let me change the magnitude here so I'm I'm turning this um, knob on the device to increase the amplitude of the output signal and you can see you can watch the peak to peak voltage over here 2.9 there's 4 volts I'm currently feeding this thing with uh, 9 volts of clean supply voltage and as we get to um, around 4 volts the wave shape begins to fall apart so that's less than half of the supply voltage um, is all that this device can handle or output before um, the wave shape begins to fall apart, at least at this 50 kilohertz frequency. Uh, there are some differences depending on the frequency, and we're going to look at that in a second. And this is with the capacitor in. I'm going to take the capacitor out. And there is some attenuation, so I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to turn it, turn it down a little bit. We'll go to um, about two and a half volts peak to peak, pulling out the capacitor. You can see some distortion right at the top of the wave. Let me see if I can increase that. Before it clips, let's see. Putting the capacitor back in. And let's see, we will look at a couple more waves this way. See how that uh, shape is a little bit distorted right at the peak. 
And if I put the capacitor in one nanofarad back in, kind of cleans that up. It's a little asymmetric, a little bit pointed with the cap. It rounds it out and smooths it out. No cap with the cap. No cap with the cap. Once again, this is 50 kilohertz. All right, we're going to increase that to um, one megahertz now. I have to just um, move one of these jumpers, which I'll do. Moving that to the top jumper. And now we are at uh, 786 kilohertz. Let me go back to the spectrum. Increase the width of this to uh, say 10 megahertz. And then we'll increase the frequency to one megahertz. There it is right about there. All right, so um, this is without the capacitor. And it looks, it looks pretty clean. We're getting the harmonics. Let me go out, I'll take it all the way out to uh, 20 megahertz. And um, this is without the capacitor, the one nanofarad. I'm gonna insert the one nanofarad. There's with the one nanofarad and without, with it, and without it. And we'll go over to the scope, run that. Let's see. So the wave is is jumping around a bit, but the shape is pretty good. This is without the capacitor. Um, it looks fairly symmetric. I don't see any spikes or anything like that. I'm going to insert the capacitor. And there's quite a bit of attenuation. Taking it out. Putting it in. And now let's, uh, let's increase the look of this thing. This is with the capacitor. We'll get a nice clean shape. It does jump around a bit, but the spectrum analysis with the capacitor uh, looks looks great. So, um, yeah, the other thing was to uh, look at the what I can do with the magnitude here by cranking up the this knob here, which is to increase the amplitude of the output um, in the one megahertz range, way up here at one megahertz. I really can't get past. Um, let's see. Let me take the let me take the um, capacitor out, and we'll see just how high we can get amplitude wise. Let's bring that down. Okay. Now I'm cranking it up all the way, and that's at uh, that's three volts peak to peak within nine volt supply. So that's about one third of the supply voltage is all that this device can provide. So there's some internal limitations. Um, and of course, if I put the capacitor in, you'll get the attenuation. So that's a look at the um, tips for cleaning up the output. Once again, summarizing, clean input power, shielded output cable, one nanofarad ceramic filter cap on the output and keep that peak to peak voltage on the output side below a half to a third of the supply voltage. Alrighty, thank you for watching.